for the LNW uh, winch mount, very first thing you're going to want to do is remove the upper front A-arm bolts. Uh, you're going to need a 17 millimeter for the nut and the bolt. Then, then what you want to do uh, is locate the winch plate, and it's going to mount. If you look at the instructions here. You can see this is going to mount to a hole that's above the lower A arm. So this bend in it is going to face the rear of the machine. So it's going to be oriented. This direction. And then here in a second, what we're going to do is we're going to bolt it directly to this rear piece, which has captured nuts, which is a really, really nice touch in my opinion. So bear with me and I'll loosely assemble that and then we'll put it all on the machine. The very first piece you're gonna to wanna to position in place is gonna be this lower mount that has the three holes in it and it's notched to go around the frame tubing and where it actually mounts to the frame is this slotted area that's directly above the A-arm. There it is right there with my thumb. Of course they give you all the hardware. Uh, you do have to put that in first uh, before you attach this to it. And then you're gonna use the 15 millimeters to uh, screw into that captured nut and then we'll get this hardware in place. Okay, now one thing I wanna show you is the lock nut is on top here. That's the way it says to do it in the instructions. And you may be thinking, well, how am I supposed to get that bolt in there without removing this lower A-arm? The good news is you do not have to. The way you wanna put it in, I'm gonna try and show you here one-handed on the driver's side, is coming behind it. So if you feed it in from the back, there's enough room to get it turned, even with the washer on it, and you can get that hardware to stand up in there. Main piece is in now, and all of the hardware is still loose. And just getting this far, I cannot say enough about how good this has fit so far. Normally you've got to fight something into place, or you might have to step a hole up to a bigger size, or have a second set of hands. Just getting to this point, and I'm not done yet, it has fit absolutely fantastic. Um, so the next step is to go through and tighten the hardware and what they recommend doing is tightening your A-arm bolts first. So one and two, then go through and tighten these three 15 millimeter bolts that connect these two, then tighten these last. So I'm going to do that real quick off camera and we'll move to the next step. To mount the fair lead, what you're going to want to do is set the upper piece in place and the lower one is just set aside. But I have a paint pen and I just marked where the holes are going to have to be. And we're going to take a 5 16 inch drill bit. We're going to drill straight down through this factory bumper. That's going to allow us to get the carriage bolts all the way through uh, to fasten them up. And then the other ones obviously don't line up right on the bumper. So there's one set of holes you got to drill. My last electrical accessory is finally wired. Uh, that being the winch. And uh, I'm not really going to do much of a walkthrough on that. Setting up a winch is setting up a winch on ATV or UTV. Uh, but I'll just touch on one part um, about the L and W fab mount, and that is that you're going to use not the slotted holes, but the just the regular round holes that are made uh, to meet this winch. If you're just going to take measure out and measure your dimensions, it'll be just fine. Uh, but the fit and finish with the Super ATV 4500 winch and then the L and W mount, um, I definitely would grade it at an A. It's really really nice. Uh, I did one little thing here, a uh, quick tip, if you drill through these little hook um, kind of canvasy material handles and then put a zip tie around it, it'll help you keep from losing it because uh, these things have a tendency to fall off. So just a little tip there. Uh, but the, yeah, the winch is really nice. Uh, the side operation thing operates really, really smooth. Of course, it's got the wireless remote. Uh, and I'll kind of give you a quick overview on where I routed everything. Uh, so these talons come pre-wired, so you're only going to need to use one set of the wires that come with the winch. And they sent two sets of red and black wires, so I'm not sure if that was a mistake or if one was actually supposed to be yellow and blue. Uh, no worries regardless. This is your positive terminal. The darker one is your negative um, or yellow and blue, depending on what color you have. Uh, so I loomed the wire with some plastic wire loom. 
and then zip tied it uh, right there and then followed the frame up put another zip tie here we'll get on top where we have a little better light and then followed on back with another zip tie and ran all the way up to the cross member uh, went underneath and then my solenoid is mounted over here I did one or actually two bolts or excuse me two nuts one bolt here through and then just put another zip tie over here this thing isn't going to go anywhere uh, again this is the or these are the factory wires that come with the talon you do have to hook those up in the back on the battery depending on how your wiring is set up um, that'll be in another video for mine and then these go to the winch this is the key on accessory power uh, this particular wire right here i ran out of my dash with the rest of my accessory wires so again depending on how your setup is that may be slightly different uh, what i did to get power to that was stole it off of this factory plug and then rewired my own quick connect on uh, but i won't get too deep into that right now uh, then i ran the this is part of the solenoid then this is the the single part of the splitter right over here it comes out into two this wire runs into the glove box to the remote fed uh, winch in and out then this is the wireless receiver this is the wireless super at remote it's got a nice on and off part and uh oh, i don't have the key on I'm gonna take it out for now. I'm waiting on the uh, actual CNC switch plate to come so I don't want to put any holes in there. There we go. Uh, so overall, really, this winch install was not bad at all. Uh, having a clean machine, of course, makes it nice, but then that winch mount fit absolutely fantastic. So kudos to L and W on that one. And then, of course, the Super ATV winch mounts right up to it. Uh, if you have questions about anything, drop me a comment below. Um, if you like this content, please like it and consider subscribing. I'm going to have uh, plenty more coming up, uh, really talent specific type of things. And uh, yeah, appreciate you watching. I'll catch you next time.